Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann, and in this video I want to show you how you can create a theme for the web UI of Ardempia. So let's start. What do we need? First, we need to create a new fragment. I uncheck this checkbox because I don't want my code located in the default Ardempia repository. So I create a new directory, copy this name to here. We use the OSGI framework, Equinox. Go to next. Here I select Java 6 because it can always happen that a client only uses Java 6 and not 7. And then you have to select the host bundle, which is org Pierre UI ZK. And click on finish and yeah open the manifest the next thing is to create a new directory here and call it theme in this directory you create another directory and give it the name of the theme for example new theme What I always do is go to the UI ZK package here, to the theme folder, and copy me these files. Paste them here. Then you can start and replace the images or modify the CSS files. And the reason I copied this is because it gives me all these um, ZOL files here, which you need because otherwise when you activate your theme, um, the dashboard panels wouldn't be found and other files which are necessary wouldn't be found. Then go to your manifest on the runtime tab and add the theme folder to the class path. Then go to the build tab and make sure that the theme directory here is checked. Save it. And that's basically all you need to do in code. Um, you don't need the um, source code folder. You could delete it if you like. called preferences and as you can see here you can set context variables global context variables like the button size if you uncomment this line then you can set the browser title um, in your plugin in your fragment uh, which is really helpful if you want to brand the, um, the software but there's also another way to um, set the browser title which I will show you in a second um, the next thing you have to do is go to your run configurations, select your server, and activate your fragment. So now the server has started and I can log in as super user. And the next thing I have to do is to go to the system client, open the system configurator and change the theme. To do this, I search for the key named ZK theme and here I enter new theme um, yeah as you saw I have nothing changed here um, but I still can save it 
and this is the browser title I talked about. So I again can go to here. And what else I can do? I can either um, yeah uncomment this and I also can search for this key and if it doesn't exist I can create it by myself. And here I can enter for example it's my test system which is really useful if you have a productive system and a test system and then everybody can directly see that this is the test system. So normally um, I only have to change the role and as you can see the browser title is, has changed to test system and the new theme should be applied. But yeah, I haven't done any changes so I will show you a custom theme I created earlier. And change the role. And now this is uh, our Selena branding. As you can see we have um, the browser title set by the preferences so We have changed every icon in the system to fit our company's um, yeah, look and feel. And as you see, all the buttons, all the toolbar buttons, they all have changed. And yeah, that's how you create your own custom theme for the web UI. I hope this helps, and I see you in the next video.